हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सुरजीत कुमार गिरी दिस इज माय यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू सी द नेक्स्ट वीडियोस देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टुडे आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट आईपीस आईपीस इज अ स्पेशली डिजाइन is give a more perfect and magnified image as obtained by a single lens of equal focal length ipc is a specially designed it is produced by the single lens having focal lens having equal focal lens it produced more perfect and magnified image uh, this eye space is uh, consisting of uh, two converging lenses that means the uh, beams are uh, light beams are uh, um, start uh, started far early then uh, after passing through the lenses then it is uh, meet at a point so it consists of two converging lenses these lenses are separating by a some distance very small distance the two lenses are uh, first one is a uh, field lens or objective and then the next one is eye lens what is field lens uh, the uh, lens towards the object is known as a uh, field lens the lens is placed near the object uh, is known as field lens and the similar case of uh, the lens uh, towards the eye the lens placed uh, near the eye is known as uh, eye lens this is eye lens so the eyes piece are uh, two types the first one is derived by eye lens so it is known as eye lens eye piece so constructs so look at the figure uh, the two lenses are there one is a uh, field lens because this is the object objective ray so this is the eye lens because uh, this lens is uh, placed by the eye uh, near by the eye so two lenses are there one is a field lens then another is uh, eye lens so but uh, these lenses are uh, made by the same materials uh, these are the two uh, plano convex lenses plano convex means one side is plane then another side is converging uh, these are the uh, plano converging lens so look at the construction hygen eye piece consists of two uh, plano convex lenses made of same material uh, these lenses having uh, but uh, in case of field lens the focal length is uh, 3f so in case of eye lens uh, the focal length is f so the two lenses are placed parallelly and the converging sides are facing to the object or instead light so the two lenses are mounted coaxially with their convex faces turned towards the incident light Uh, the these lenses are separate so uh, that means field lens and eye lens the distance between field lens and eye lens is 2f so then uh, uh, discuss or uh, today discussing uh, the working of high lens principles the low the optical instrument is placed with its object objective facing the object this is the optical uh, systems instruments it is placed with its objective that means field lens facing the object object means the incident light uh, the objective converts the beam coming from object on the field lens of eye space these are the incident uh, rays these are the converger convergent beams these are passing through the field lens after passing through the field lens the image is produced the image is uh, i2 
so the image i1 formed by the objective due to the objective due to the field lens the image i1 is produced and the image i2 is produced by the field lens also look at if the rays are uh, backwarding uh, then uh, forwarding straight uh, then it will be made at a point i1 but if, if the rays are if the convergent rays are passing through the field lens then it is made at a point i2 so the image i2 uh, lie between field lens and i lens at a distance of f uh, this is the f and this is also f so first one is uh, for the combination of but uh, today uh, I discussed uh, the what is the distance between uh, two lenses if the uh, two focal lengths of um, the focal length of field lens is 3f uh, the focal length of high lens is f if the focal lengths are to be uh, ach achromatic then the uh, distance between two lenses is uh, d equal to f plus f2 by 2 this is the combination of Two lenses of focal lens f and f. So d is the distance between uh, two lenses. So d equal to f1 plus f2 by 2. But uh, in this case, uh, if the uh, if we consider the symbol of focal length for field lens is f1, then uh, i lens is f2, then f1 equal to 3f and f2 equal to f. So d equal to uh, putting the value of f1 uh, is 3f and f2 is f so 3f plus f by 2 equal to 4f by 2 equal to 2f if this spherical abrasion is totally absent since d equal to f1 minus f2 S spherical abrasion means uh, this is the defect in the definition of image produced due to the inability of marginal and parallel axis uh, sets of rays to come to the focus at a single point after refraction for the lens. It is the inability to produce uh, the uh, incident rays are focusing at a single point. This is the spherical average. If the spherical aberration is totally absent, that means uh, d equal to uh, first focal length of field lens minus second focal length of and uh, focal length of high lens. So d equal to f1 minus f2. But the d equal to the value of f1 is 3f, uh, f2 is f, so 3f minus f equal to 12. Now the next one is the optical system between. Uh, optical separation between the two lenses but uh, the optical separation formula between the two lenses is uh, delta equal to f1 plus f2 minus t so delta equal to 3f plus f minus 2f equal to 4f minus 2f equal to delta equal to 2f so the optical separation between two lenses is uh, 2f the next one is uh, distance of field lens from image i1 this is the image i1 so uh, i found uh, the distance of field lens from the image i1 so we know that uh, 1 by v minus 1 by u or the lens formula 1 by v minus 1 by u equal to 1 by f but in case of field lens the focal length is f1 so the lens formula is 1 by v minus 1 by u equal to 1 by f1. In this case, the image i2 by the field lens form a focal length f. Uh, this is the image i2. Uh, it is uh, uh, placed uh, from the distance of the field lens is uh, f. So that is f1 equal to 3f and uh, the image v equal to f. So putting this value in uh, lens formula, so we get v value is uh, f f1 value is 3 so 1 by f minus 1 by u equal to 1 by 3 
so implies that 1 by u equal to 1 by f minus 1 by 3 so implies that 1 by u equal to uh, after taking uh, this is the instant 3f uh, so 3 minus 1 equal to 2 by 3 so u equal to we get u equal to 3 by 2f then the next one is position of cosine in this case or uh, in hygiene i space uh, the crosshair is uh, not placed because uh, in this case the the value is uh, not ac accurate more accurate uh, because uh, if crosshair is uh, placed then the uh, result is uh, measurement is uh, more accurate so in this case crosshair must be uh, all placed in position of three elements i2 uh, this is the midway this is the middle point between field lands and islands so in this case uh, the position of crosshair is uh, not uh, provided uh, in the hygienesis so next one is the uh, derive the system metric for i space but we know that if the two lenses are uh, <coughs> combined then uh, the system matrix is uh, the symbol of system matrix is as m equal to 1 minus d by f1 set uh, this is the first row this is the first second row this is the first position second position third position fourth position the first position is 1 minus d by f1 second is uh, d and third one is uh, minus 1 by f1 minus f1 by f2 plus d by f1 f2 the next one is 1 minus d by f2 so putting we also derived uh, the value of f1 the value of f2 and the value of d the value of f1 is uh, 3f f2 is f d is 2f so putting these values in uh, system matrix we get sm equal to 1 minus uh, 2f by 3f then uh, next one is uh, 2f uh, this is the minus 1 by 3f minus 1 by f plus 2f by 3f into f and the last one is 1 minus 2f by f after calculating we get uh, ff cancelling so 1 minus 2 by 3 is uh, equal to the 1 by 3 then next one is uh, in similar case uh, this is 2f and the last one is after calculating the third position so uh, minus 1 by 3f minus 1 by f plus uh, 2f by 3f into f so we get minus 2 by 3f so last one is uh, ff cancelling so 1 minus 2 is minus 1 but uh, in general form uh, we know that this system matrix sm equal to a b c d dash uh, comparing uh, these system matrix or uh, these uh, system matrix so we get a equal to 1 by 3, b equal to 2f, c equal to minus 2 by 3f, uh, d dash equal to minus 1. Uh, then the next one is equivalent focal length of the system. Uh, we consider uh, the, if the uh, focal length of the system is f, then we know that uh, 1 by f equal to the minus c. So implies that f equal to minus 1 by c, or f equal to minus of putting the value of uh, f uh, uh, this is uh, putting the value of c c value is minus 2 by 3 so we get uh, minus minus plus 3 f by 2 other f, f equal to 3 f by 2 uh, then the next one is uh, location of cardinal points we also know that the cardinal points are the uh, six types first and second principal points first and second uh, nodal points and also first and second focal points so first we discuss the uh, two focal points of uh, um, f1 and f2 the two focal points f1 and f2 are governed by the value of their distance x1 and x2 from the field lens and islands respectively we also know that uh, x1 equal to d dash by c uh, d dash is uh, 1 d dash is minus 1 
and she is minus 2 by 3 f putting these values or oh, we get uh, 3 by 2 f or that x1 equal to 3 by 2 f in similar case we know that x2 equal to minus a by c putting the value of a 1 by 3 putting the value of c uh, 2 by 3 f so we get minus 2 by the 3 f we get 1 by 2 f so other f x2 equal to 1 by 2 f now next one is the two, another two cardinal points or the, there is two nodal points n1 and n2 two nodal points are equivalent to the principal points if uh, mu y is mu 0 so nodal points are governed by the distance t1 and t2 from the field lengths and islands respectively so if uh, we consider the uh, nodal noids, we derive the nodal noid points, uh, so we get uh, the value of T1 and T2. We know that T1 equal to D dash minus 1 by C. Putting the value of D dash is minus 1. Putting the value of C is minus 2 by 3F. We get 3F. Since uh, mu y is equal to mu 1. This is the refractive index of image side. This is the effective index of the inside. So in similar case t2 equal to we know that 1 minus a by c uh, equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 by value uh, of c is minus 2 by 3f so we get minus of 2 by 3 by 2 by 3f equal to minus a. Then the last two uh, cardinal points are principal points uh, that is p1 and p2. So we derive the value of P1 and P2. This is the P2 and this is the value of Q. So the formula of uh, uh, this is the two of principal points P1 and P2. Uh, this is the uh, uh, these are the governed by the distances R1 and R2. R1 is the distance from the field lengths of the principal points P1, then R2 is the distance from the islands uh, this is the distance from the uh, point feet so we know that r1 equal to d dash minus 1 by c equal to a value of d dash is uh, 1 minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 whole divided by the value of uh, c is uh, minus 2 by 3 f so putting these values we get uh, the r1 value is uh, 3m so r1 equal to 3m in similar case of R2, R2 equal to also we know that 1 minus A by C equal to minus F. So putting the value of A and C, value of A is uh, 1 by 3, C is minus 2 by 3 F. Putting these values, we get minus F. Other R2 equal to minus F. Hence we concluded that look at the value of R2 or look at the value of R1 the value of R1 is 3F similar case of the value of T1 is also 3F so comparing these terms we get R1 equal to T1 in similar case R2 equal to T2 and so the two principal points are equivalent to the two nodal points Then the next one is Ram dense ice piece. This is the Ram dense ice piece. Look at It is also consisting two plan of convex lenses. These are uh, separated by a distance 2 by 3. This is the distance between field lens and eye lens and this is 2 by 3. In this case, uh, both the uh, lenses uh, that is field lens and eye lens having same focal length that is a 
So it consists of two planar convex lenses, each of focal length f and separated by a distance 2 by 3 f. So that, but uh, in the previous case, I already discussed uh, in case of hydrogen eye space, uh, the both the uh, lenses of converging sides are focusing to the object. But in this case, the convex, this is the convex sides, this is the convex sides, both are facing each other. So according to the achromatic condition, we also previously discussed the distance between two lenses is uh, d equal to f1 plus f2 by 2. So putting the value of f1, uh, it is also f. Putting the value of f2, it is also f. f plus f by 2 equal to f. Now construction. Okay. So the details of Ramdin I construction is shown in the figure. So our next one is the working of Ramdin size space. The optical instrument is placed with its objective. This is facing uh, the object. So the objective converts the beam. This is the beam coming from an object of the field lens of the eyepiece. This is the beams. This is our, uh, coming then incident to the field lens. The image, uh, this is the image, first image I1. The image I1 formed by the objective as a, the object for field lens. Then the next one, the, the image I2. It is formed by the field lens. This is lie in the first focal points. First focal plane of the eye lens. This is the eye lens. If the first focal plane, if the first focal planes. field lens is placed in the, this case of the eye lens, then uh, the image I2 is produced. The focal length of eye lens is, we know that also is uh, f and the distance between lens and uh, field lens and eye lens is 2 by 3 f. Therefore, the image I2 lie at a distance, uh, this is this distance is uh, f by 3 in front of field lens. So, the Eyepiece when adjusted for normal vision from the filar image at the infinite. If I want, uh, we are uh, visiting for the normal cases, then the eyepiece, uh, the final image is uh, produced at the infinite. First case. For the removal of spherical aberration. If spherical aberration is uh, removed then we know that the formula of distance between the two lenses x equal to f1 minus f the value of f1 and f2 are same so f minus f equal to 0 now the next one is optical separation between two lenses the formula is also previous lamp i was uh, discussed delta equal to f1 plus f2 minus t putting the value of f1 f2 and t uh, putting the value of f1 is f, f2 is f and b is the 2 by 3f. So we get 2 f minus 2 by 3f equal to 4 by 3f. So this is the 2d because d is the 2 by 3f. And so optical system between two lenses is the uh, twice of the geometrical separation. So now next uh, derive the distance of field lens. This is the field lens. The distance of field lens from the image I1. This distance uh, derived. So we know that the lens formula 1 by V equal to 1 by U equal to in case of field lens the focal length is F1 so equal to 1 by F1. But the value of F1 is uh, F 
and the value of uh, v is f by minus f by 3. Uh, this is the value of v. It is the minus f by we can We know that the left, left hand side uh, sign due to the sign convention sum, uh, the, the left hand side value is uh, negative. So the v value is uh, minus 1 by f3. So v value is minus f by 3 so putting these values so we get minus 1 by f by 3 and minus 1 by u equal to 1 by f so after calculating we get 1 by u equal to minus 3 f minus 1 by f equal to minus 4 by f but f u equal to minus f by f then the next one is the position of process this crosshairs, uh, it is also known as micrometer scale. Uh, this uh, crosshair is uh, placed at the position of real image I1. This is placed in in uh, uh, real image I1. Uh, so this distance is f by four uh, due uh, in uh, due to the field lens. So IP is magnified both image I1. And this scale, so the measurement is so accurate due to the proposition of process. Now the next one is the system matrix for IPS. Uh, we also know that SM equal to 1 minus D by F1, D minus 1 by F2, minus 1 by F2, plus D by F1, F2, 1 minus D by F2. So putting the value of F1, F2 and D, we also previously derived f1 equal to f, f2 equal to f, d equal to 2 by 3 Putting these values in the system matrix, we get the value 1 by 3, 2 by 3 f, minus 4 by 3 f, 1 by 3. Uh, this system matrix is uh, compared to the general form, a, b, c, d does. So we get the value of a is 1 by 3, b is 2 by 3 f, c is minus 4 by 3 f, d dash is 1 by 3. So we derived, uh, we are derived uh, the focal length of the uh, equivalent focal length of the system matrix of this system, optical system. So we get, uh, we know that 1 by f equal to minus 1 by c. So we plus that f equal to minus 1 by c, putting the value of c, f equal to minus of minus 1 by 4 by 3 f. Because the value of c is minus 4 by 3 f, so we get f equal to 3 by 4 f. Then uh, we have found the location of cardinal points. If we want to the location of uh, uh, cardinal points, then the uh, then uh, we require the position of two principal points, two focal points, and two nodal points. So first uh, discuss the uh, two focal points F1 and F2. If we want to the uh, position of F1 and F2. Then we derived the value of their distances x1 and x2 from field lens and eye lens. We know that x1 equal to d dash by c. Also in previous uh, eye space we are uh, discussed x1 equal to d by c, d dash by c. Putting the value of d dash 1 by 3, c value is minus 4 by 3f, we get minus 1 by 4. In similar case for f2 that means uh, the distance from i lens is uh, x2 so x2 equal to minus a by c value of uh, a is 1 by 3 so minus 1 by 3 will divided by c value is minus 4 by 3 f so equal to f by 4 now the next one is the two principal points uh, p1 and p2 if we want to the uh, position of P1 and P2, then we also derive to the, we want to the uh, value of uh, distance R1 and R2. So this is the P1 and this is the P2. So uh, we know that R1 equal to D dash minus 1 by C. So putting the value of D dash and C, R1 equal to 1 by 3 minus 1, whole divided by minus 4 by 3. So you get minus 2 by 3 by f will divided by minus 4 by 3 f equal to f by 2. In similar case for R2, 
वन द वैल्यू ऑफ द फॉर्मूला ऑफ आर टू इक्वल टू वन माइनस ए बाई सी सो वन माइनस वन बाई थ्री बाई माइनस फोर बाई थ्री एफ इक्वल टू टू बाई थ्री बाई माइनस फोर बाई थ्री एफ सो इक्वल टू दी माइनस एफ बाई टू दिस इज ऑल्सो सो इन द फिगर एंड द लास्ट द टू पॉइंट्स आर दिस इज द सेकेंड नोडल पॉइंट्स एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट नोडल पॉइंट्स सो डिराइव द position of nodal points n1 and n2 in field lines and islands so we also derive the distances uh, first one is uh, t1 and second one is t2 t1 is the distance from this position to the field lines and t2 is the distance to the islands so we know that uh, the formula of t1 equal to d dash minus 1 by c so equal to 1 by 3 minus 1 whole divided by minus 4 by 3 so equal to minus 2 by 3 Whole divided by minus four by three f equal to f by two. In similar case, the value of t two equal to one minus a by c. Putting the value of a is one by three, c is minus four by three f. So we get two by three by minus four by three f equal to minus f by two. Look at the value of t one and r one and t uh, two and r two. The both both values are same, and so the two principal points are equivalent to the. to nodal points thank you